In this video, we will discuss how to use a handheld camera microscope to do a hair shaft examination. You'll actually be looking at the hair itself along the length. Um, I will be doing this examination on our sample client here, and I'll be using the D-Lite camera microscope to do this examination with the 500X lens. There are other uh, lin uh, camera microscopes available. You'll use the highest lens available for the ProScope, it's the 400X, and I'll be using the 500X on the D-Lite microscope. I'll be using the standard software that's included uh, with the D-Lite microscope, but there is more advanced hair analysis software called CompareView Hair that will allow you to do further and closer examinations. Um, the first step is to uh, prep the, the client's hair by using your fingers to push firmly against the hair and flatten the hair so that it's lined up against itself. And that way you have the most even and flat surface. The 500X lens is a high powered lens, so you do need a steady hand and as, as flat a surface as possible uh, with the hair. So now I've touched the tip, the 500X tip with the 500X lens inside to the scalp, and I'm turning the focus wheel with my finger to, to focus on the depth that you want. So now I've got a good image of a series of hairs lined up side by side. So this is the best and easiest method for viewing the hair with the 500X tip. The, things, the type of things you're looking for are the quality of the cuticle and to see if the cuticle is lifting or if the cuticle is dry. And then you're looking for the shininess of the scalp to, or the, of the hair to see if there is oil buildup or dryness and cracking of the hair shaft itself you'll be looking for product buildup. You can see if there are, if there's product buildup, you can see that building up on the outside of the scalp or the, of the hair shaft. You're looking for evidence of heat damage, which would be bubbling or cracking. Um, you're looking for split ends. Let me look at a different part of the scalp and we'll talk a little bit more. So I'll flatten, I'll look right at the top. So you can go to the, move the um, 500X tip to the ends of the hair to examine split ends to see if there's dryness or splitting at the ends of the hair. And you're looking for evidence of chemical damage. Um, you know, things uh, like over, over dyeing the hair, uh, you'll have um, other damage uh, evident with the 500X lens, inconsistent color, for example. At any point, you can capture a picture using the capture button on the D-Lite. So I'll get my finger ready. I like this image of the hairs. Touch the capture button. That image is saved on the computer, and you can take multiple images at different parts of the scalp to compare. So I'll get another image here at 500X. There's a good one there. Touch the capture button. Now I've got a couple of images which you can review and compare. So I'll double click on the first image, which was on the top of the head, and we can start to see the conditions of the hair shaft itself and examine for problems and make recommendations for treatment. And here's the second image we examined, again looking for those same problem areas and the, and the health of the actual hair itself. Again, you can use a more advanced software called CompareView Hair to do further analysis. And that is the best way to use a handheld camera microscope for examining the hair shaft on a head.